will not happen in a few years, it's a long-term process. If we start now, in twenty-five years, we can have a richer planet. Do not think the madness that's going on in your bone box is the only intelligence, that's the lowest form of intelligence. This is a source of many, many, many problems that human beings are experiencing right now. Thirty-nine inches is the basis of almost eighty-five percent of the life on this planet, including ourselves. There is enough scientific study to today tell you, your body and my body, how strong it is, not just of muscular strength, essential strength in the body of its, our existence. This is determined by the kind of soil not only that you eat from, the kind of soil that you walk upon. The genetic material in your system, it will get weaker if the soil gets weak. The moment you make the next generation less than who we are, we have committed a crime against humanity. The nutrients in the soil, the organic content in the soil is going down dramatically because there is no way to put it back. The only way you could improve the organic content in the soil is the leaves of the trees and the animal waste. Trees, we have taken them out long time ago. Now we are slaughtering all the animals and exporting it to other nations. With this, there is nothing to put back into the soil. I was at one of the UN agencies, they asked me, Sadhguru, what are the three things that we must act upon immediately? I said the three things are soil, soil and soil. Because the soil degradation is doing bio… you know, biodiversity loss at a pace that we cannot replace. If this continues for another thirty to forty years, then the losses that will happen to us is incalculable. We have never seen anything like that, Th those kind of things will happen. Probably first it will happen in tropical lands, most probably. We could be wrong, but most probably it could happen in tropical lands. So people who are living in temperate climates think it is not going to affect them. Anyway, others are going to die, that will make it easy for them to go and conquer those lands or exploit those resources or whatever. These thoughts are there in people's minds, unfortunately. Because they want land minus the people. There are many ambitious people who are thinking on those lines. So, soil is one thing. There are thirteen… on an average, there is about thirty-nine inches of topsoil. This soil in the last fifty years' time had degraded phenomenally simply because it's not under shade, there is no vegetation, everything is ploughed and, you know, farmed or constructed upon. So if we do not take care of the soil health, the richness of the soil will directly determine the richness of our lives because this body is just the soil that we walk upon. This body is not different from the soil that we walk upon. All life, from microbial life to insects to worms to birds, plants, animals, trees, human beings, over eighty percent… eighty-five percent of the life is sustained by this thirty-nine inches of topsoil. If we take care of this as an emergency measure, other things can be addressed there, it'll give us time to address other things. But if soil degradation happens and desertification happens across the world, then all these other things like, see, air pollution, water pollution, these things can be dealt with very quickly with policy changes and a determined effort. Within a few years, you can fix it. But soil regeneration will not happen in a few years, it's a long-term process. If we start now, in twenty-five years, we can have a richer planet, soil-wise. And that will lead to richer life on the planet, biodiversity on the planet, because human beings need to understand worms, insects, birds, animals, trees, everybody has a role to play in our life. If tomorrow morning, all the microbes disappear, the life will end right now. If all the worms disappear, in about one and a half to two years, life will end. If all the insects disappear, in four to six years, life will end. But if all of us human beings disappear, planet will flourish. We must understand what is our role here, what is the significance of our presence here. In Tamil language, we refer to the soil as Thaiman, that means mother soil, because there's a deep understanding in the culture that this is the mother. 
because it is from this we are born. Our biological mother is only representative. The real mother is here. It is the soil that we carry as my body. But it has become so in the world that we have started referring to soil as dirt. See, you call this dirt because you think it's something. But I'm telling you, this soil is so intelligent. Did it ever so happen that you put an apple seed and a pear came out by mistake, soil made a mistake? Did it ever so happen? Such a thing never happened, isn't it? It is the same soil which is turning into apple, it is the same soil which is turning into a pear, but such a mistake never happened. So do not underestimate the intelligence of life. Do not think the madness that's going on in your bone box is the only intelligence, that's the lowest form of intelligence. Everything else in the existence is super intelligent, isn't it so? Life is intelligence, isn't it so? The very air that you breathe, there is a phenomenal amount of intelligence in it. These days, the modern mothers, if children go and put their hands in the soil and come, they say, your hands are dirty. No, they are not dirty. You are touching the source of your life. When you mistake the source of your life for dirt, the chances of you putting your roots down and the chances of you growing to your full size and capability, the chances of you seeing flower and fruit are remote, isn't it? If the tree thought that my roots are getting dirty, there would be neither flower nor fruit. The tree understands when it sinks its roots into the earth, it knows this is the source of its life. But we, the most intelligent species on the planet, are not able to feel this. This is a source of many, many, many problems that human beings are experiencing right now. Forget about enlightenment, forget about seeing other dimensions of life, they are not even able to be healthy, which every creature is able to do quite effortlessly, because they cannot sink their roots into this earth because somewhere in their mind, it's become dirt. Natural food cycle is sustainable only if we take care of the soil. Water and biodiversity are a consequence of rich soil. Thirty-nine inches of topsoil on an average is the basis of almost eighty-five percent of the life on this planet including ourselves. Plants, birds, animals, insects and worms all thrive on the richness of the topsoil. Taking care of the soil, ensuring that desertification does not happen, degradation of soil richness does not happen, is the most vital responsibility that we have as a generation of people. The very body that we carry is the soil that we stand upon right now. This one thing should be taken up as an express mission by every citizen, by every government of the many nations on this planet without ensuring the richness of the soil. We are in a way giving up on life. Please, let's make it happen.